For now, let's talk about the channel, apparently. Uh, Rishi Sunak reckons he is in, I quote, the final stages of uh, striking a deal with the French to stop migrants crossing the English Channel. That's, by the way, on top of the tens of millions of pounds uh, that we've already paid them. Goodness knows uh, how this deal will apparently be any different. William, do you have high hopes for this new deal with the French? I'm perfectly happy that they speak to the French and if they can get some cooperation, I'd be in favour of it. But it won't, I don't think it'll make any difference. I, when the Rwanda um, scheme was announced, I was one of the few people that said it was a publicity stunt and it wouldn't work um, because, you know, they left the legal means in place to challenge their own policy. So I don't think any flights are going to go. It's not very likely. Um, I think I've always said that the, the illegal migrants um, are acting perfectly rationally because they've got a very good chance if they get here of staying. The grant rate is very high here compared to other countries. And I think broadly, this is a democratic issue. You know, the people, uh, the, the question of who arrives here and, and under what circumstances should be uh, the government, the democratically elected government. And at the moment, it's not being decided by the government, it's being decided by criminals. And the fundamental reason for this is that we're still in the protocols. If you, if you stay in the protocols, you can't really have border secure, uh, sovereignty. You can, you've got to choose between... Yeah, but, then, but they know this because they're not daft, Williams. So this is one of the things that um, I can't square the circle of. If they know that they've, they've got these legal restrictions in place that mm. basically means that anything they try and do, they're going to be scuppered, why are they not spending their time, money and effort in getting out of whether it's uh, the it, ECHR or what? Why aren't they to. doing that? Because they don't want to. I think, they, I think it's just too much for them to do it, even the Tories. I think the Tories are pretty, well, they're useless on this issue. I think the Labour Party and the Liberal Democrats are probably be even worse. I think the reason is that it's just not a high-status opinion or view to want to get this sorted. So if you're going to be embarrassed at a middle-class dinner party in London by saying, I think we should withdraw and get new protocols, which are better, uh, it's not a high-status opinion. You'd be slightly ashamed of saying that, and that's why they don't do it. Honestly, they don't do it because they don't want to do it. So um, the Tories, I think we can all concede. Uh, Susie, this is an, a mess at the moment. He says your lot Labour would be even worse. Um, look, I've got a very different perspective on this whole thing. I've spent the last couple of years working with Iranian refugees and I'm going to be honest with you, it's, it's changed my perspective on this. I think sometimes I used to watch the news and see these people coming in from the boats and think, what's going on, you know, and... Whatever. I don't know what I thought. And maybe I don't want to say what I thought, you know, but I understand sometimes when people are coming from. But now I've spent time with these people and I'm working with about 80 of them at the moment. I'm just going to be honest with you, my heart's completely broken for them. These people come from places in Iran where women and children are being murdered on a weekly basis. I'm sorry to say that, but that's what's going on just because they're not wearing... Susie, these people in these boats come from France. No, some of these people. No, of, oh, no, no, no. Every single person on those boats have come from France. Yes, yeah, they may have come from France, but I'm saying they're coming from different nations. And most people do not risk their lives. One of, one of the guys I know risked his life coming over on a boat where, like, 100% they could have drowned. But he did it. That's how much fear they have. That's how much they're desperate to get out of the nation they're coming from. But now, don't get me wrong. I'm not, saying, yeah, I'm not saying that there are not things that we need to put in place here. But I, I personally I, do not I come just... from... A di I I just don't come from a dis discompassionate place on this. No, I, you know, and I, I think I, there's a problem with our right-wing media whereby we want to blame all of our problems on immigration. Susie, Susie. But the point is, is if you don't have a government that's investing in the NHS, if you don't have a government that's got a proper national minimum wage, if you don't have these things no, in Susie. place and then you start pl blaming it on, on immigration, no, that is a big... I, for me, that is a big problem. Susie, I, well, I totally, it, totally it, understand. It can't be that bad, by the way, or else everyone won't be desperate to get in these no. boats and come here as an economic migrant. I but totally anyway, understand. If you're working with... Uh, migrants, you'd feel it. The proximity, obviously you'd feel it. The point I make is that you've, you've got to look at the protocols because the, they're not fit for purpose, let's be honest about it. And the standard of debate on this issue is abysmal, absolutely terrible. You, it, it, silly little publicity stunts and so on. The number of people that would qualify under the 51 Convention globally are certainly hundreds of millions and possibly billions. Any Democrat in China, any, a lot of gay people in sub-Saharan African uh, societies, half Half the Afghan population would qualify. And look, if, you can, if the private sector, in other words, the smuggling gang, gangs can get you here, you're in. And that, you've got to admit that's not sustainable. We can't. No. We can't go on like this. Yeah. And, and I would urge the government to just be honest about it to the public. I've got about one minute left. Let me ask you this then. So Labour's latest idea uh, on this is about reintroducing or introducing ID cards 
Where do you stand on that? I mean, again, I'm just, I'm just with William on this. I just don't think any of these things are going to ultimately be the solution. This is, unfortunately, look, we're talking about these are global problems. These are global issues. If you reduce aid to countries, if you don't properly, I'm just going to say again, in Iran, there is a, there is a revolution going on. People are being brutally murdered. Yes, but killed. these are not and Iranian the, women and no, children. And on then these the birds. international community are doing nothing. Our government is doing nothing. If we actually intervened in situations, supported, again, Again, this is women and children fighting for their rights to just wear their hair freely yes, and to be able to go to, to have Susie, you know, education. Susie, this has got is... nothing to do. Women and children in Iran are not the people that are getting on these birds. These are chances often from Albania. These